and welcome back to my channel. Today I have two very special guests. This is Yay. exciting. This is Alex, if you don't know them already, from I Covet Thee, and Susie from Hello October. And today we're going to be talking all about our high end holy grail products that we cannot live without. Who wants to start? You. Susie? No, I can't start. So <laughs> you're the guest, you can start. Okay. Let's go this way. Okay, let's go like, round yeah. in a circle. Okay. So my first item is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser. I've been using this for about three years now. I should probably buy a new bottle. That Maybe. same one oh, lasted yeah. three years. Oh, and it still I looks amazing. That. So many people are going to be like, that is disgusting, but it lasts amazingly. I think it's really kind of flawless, but very light coverage at the same time. And it's oil free as well, isn't it? Yeah. So it's really, really it's nice. Free. It really and it all really goes a long way. Keeping on the theme of bases, you guys won't be surprised by this if you watch my videos a lot. Um, it's the Chanel Vitamia Aqua Foundation. I think I beat you on the three years. I'm not yeah. the same bottle, but like I have used this since it came out, which I think was around five years ago, maybe four and a half years ago. It was ago. a while ago. I remember that launch and it was a big deal. Yeah, it was yeah. like I just keep coming back to this. I can't. I, I do find foundations that I like. I'm wearing a different one today. But this is like my holy grail high end foundation. I always go back to it. I don't have a base, but I do have a skincare product, so I'll be the first one to go for skincare. Um, Oscar Renaissance Cleansing Gel. Absolutely love this. Really couldn't live without it. And I find this makes my skin better, so I have to use a less full coverage foundation because it's just so. It's only a cleanser, but for some reason it makes my skin look bright and it really kind of refreshes it and it just takes off makeup so, so well. I absolutely love this. So I think it's my third bottle now. Really? Basically. It does run out quite quickly and you can never tell as well when it's finished because That's it's annoying. just a plastic <laughs> bottle, which is a bit annoying, but so, so good, so worth it. Next, I have something that a lot of my viewers will not be surprised about at all, but it's the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I absolutely love this. I love the bronzer for kind of more contouring because I can get away with a slightly warmer contour. It's not the warmest bronzer in the world, hence why I go for more of a contour with it. And then it's got the most insane highlight on it, which is just beautiful, kind of not disco ball y but perfectly glowy. And, and the packaging is just love amazing. This. And the packaging, <laughs> the packaging is just gorgeous. Oh, I just love She has. She just knows, like, she just gets it right every time. A similar kind of thing for me is the Hourglass powders. This is the trio, but generally I always use the one in the middle. And Which I have this is that? Um, incandescent light. But I have the full size one in diffused light, which is probably my most used mm -hmm. one. This one I just like taking for traveling. Um, but yeah, I just, there's something about these powders that adds like a real natural looking glow to your face. There's no, it's kind of like halfway in between a highlighter and a powder. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of get away with using it everywhere if you want to go for a really glowy look. But it's generally like a really good daytime highlighter. And, yeah, and they're like, good setting powders as well. That's what I mean. Some of them are different though. Because I feel like some are quite some are, like that one I wouldn't use. No. So it depends on the colour. Some of them you can use a setting powder. Other ones I would avoid. But um, depending on your skin tone, I guess, as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they're just really beautiful. And the texture of them, they're like really finely so milled and just they're yeah, really smooth. And they last ages as well. So I have two very similar things from Hourglass. Um, these are actually the blushes, and these came out quite a while after the powders. And they're just heavenly, they are absolutely beautiful. First of all, the packaging, just all Hourglass packaging is gorgeous. These are the shades Incandescent Electra and diffuse tea. So I think this is probably the powder yeah, you have. They are the same but with as a bit of colour mix of it. So they're kind of like a mixture. That one looks amazing. I don't they know. are so good. This is diffuse heat, so it's the same as the diffuse mm. light powder. I but it's so one. good. It's such a nice corally colour. But they're the same as the powders in that they give you this lovely like dewy radiance on your skin. They're not shimmery, but they just make you look very highlighty and very pretty. So they're so good. And the colours are really pigmented too. You think that there wouldn't be much pigment in that, but you use just a tiny yeah. bit and it goes such a long way. So these are my holy grail blushes because I just I use them every single day. Next I have a mascara and this is one of my all time favourite mascaras. I recommend it to everyone. It's the Erin Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. And I'm super, super fussy with mascaras. I like something that gives amazing volume and length all at the same time. I feel like we like similar yeah. mascaras. They're like bam yeah. mascaras. <laughs> yes. I could be wearing fake eyelashes, but I could not, and this is just one of my all time favourites. My mascara is an oldie but a goodie. I've been using this kind of on and off since I was about 15. It was always number one on my Christmas wish list <laughs> when I was younger. It's the YSL Effect Full Seal. Again, like a lot of volume, a lot of length, extreme. They dry out really quickly. I've heard that, that they don't last so long. They do, but I feel like that, like, you're meant to change your mascara between much anyway. Mm -hmm. so, so it reminds you to do it. It reminds you to do it. Yeah, so it does dry out quickly, but it's 
gorgeous Chinese birds. Tribal. Very pretty. They are. Have you not? Ne have either of you tried no, this? I it's tried like it. a cult <laughs> mascara. It is. Right, that you need to try okay, one. That. We're yeah. going to be swapping makeup. I know. <laughs> so I actually have a concealer. This, I rely on concealer so, so much. I think it's one of my most essential beauty products. And this is just one of the best. Uh, it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Brush On Glow BB Highlighter. Longest name of a concealer in history. Um, but it's basically one of these little twist up brightening concealers. But it's quite different in that it has so much coverage as well. Usually with these ones like the YSL Touche Eclat, yeah. it doesn't have a lot of cover but it still gives you, you know, brightness under there. But this one does both which is amazing so you have to use less products. And there's just something about this that just makes your skin look really bright and it helps dark circles. And it do just you gives just you use really it like under your eyes? I kind of do it under my eyes, down my nose, top of my forehead. Okay. So I use it kind of like a highlighter as well but it's just an amazing concealer at the same time. So next I have a skincare product and this is one that I pretty much recommend to everyone. You love this as well, I love this you? too. It's good. It's really good. It's the Kills Skin Rescuer and it's just a beautiful moisturiser. It's really hydrating but not greasy on the skin at all. It lasts a long time considering the bottle just looks very, very mini. And I travel with this a lot as well because the packaging is super travel friendly. And I just can't fault this. It's my moisturiser that I just repurchase over and over and over. I've never tried it. Yeah. Seriously, I'm really broke up. Kiehl's moisturisers in general are just amazing, but this mm. is one of the best ones. It's also stress minimising. I, I just like point that out? It definitely does help <laughs> yeah. with stress. If you have redness, you're really stressed. Well, stress, my yeah. skin gets red. <laughs> it is really And calming. it takes that down. It's very calming. My next one is the Touche oh, Claire. Yeah. Um, I feel like. This is a massively cult product, but still a lot of people don't love it. I mm. really, really love this, and I always think that, oh, something else is better, I move on to something else, and then I come back to it again, and I'm like, I actually really like it, because it does have that, there's a reason why it is, mm. like, probably the number one So do you use that for like, a concealer, or do you just use it to highlight? I use it as well as a concealer, which okay, is why so I think... that's what you need to do, so some people yeah. use it on its own, and it's not... It's definitely not a concealer, like, it really is a highlighter. You can use it, some people are like, oh, you can't use it under your eyes or whatever. I still do use it under my eyes, but I use it with a concealer. Yeah. So I have another skincare one, really into my skincare, high-end skincare. Um, Sunday Riley Luna Oil, I love this. I think if I had just abandoned all other skincare, I would stick to this one as my one mm. kind of high-end purchase, because it's just so good. It's that overnight oil, and it actually comes out, I don't know if you've ever seen this, bright blue. Smurf so, coloured. Looks very strange, it's a bit of a weird one to use, but it actually sinks into your skin and the colour disappears completely. And it has this ingredient in it called blue tansy, which is supposed to be just the most amazing regenerating ingredient for your skin. So you put this on, you wake up in the morning, it looks like you've had eight hours of sleep and your skin's just perfect and just glowy and highlighted and dewy. It's just an amazing oil and I love using oils overnight. I think they're some of the best so my next product is a lipstick. This is the uh, Chanel Rouge Coco Shine in number 90 Mutine, I think it is. It's a beautiful kind of your lips but better nudey pink, and I hate the your lips but better phrase, but it really is. I'm wearing it today, and sometimes it just doesn't even feel like I'm wearing lipstick, and it doesn't no, it looks like look like your it. lips. But better. Yeah. yeah, it's just such a pretty colour and I love the lipsticks, the formulas for these are amazing and I always have one living in my handbag. So my last product is the Marc Jacobs Lolita palette and I feel like I've spoken about this a lot over the past couple of years but I must have had it for over two years now um, but not so much recently and when I was looking back through my products to kind of put this video together this is like the obvious one when it comes to eyes for me for high end. It's not a huge palette but it's not tiny at the same time. Like if you're, if you don't want a million colours, but you still want to kind of cover all your bases, I feel like it's really good. It's mm. so good for neutral because it has some really nice mattes. It has like three mattes and then four shimmers. The last product. So these, I'd say this is probably my favourite of all of these things. So oh, here they are. <laughs> here they are. Get them out. Every single one of them. <laughs> these are the Nars Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. So these are actually all reds, so but they have other colours than that. But these are my favourites. But they're just so pigmented and they kind of go on quite creamy so they still feel nice and hydrating, they feel comfortable on your lips but they're also just so easy to work with because they are just like pencils so you just pop this on and it's really easy to do a red lip with it. I have, which colours do I have here? Mysterious Red, Cruella, uh, Red Square and Ibrisio which are just the best. They last ever, go on really easily and they just can't be without these. Well that is it for our holy grail Product essentials, that was what it was, wasn't it? Holy grail, holy grail, high end, holy grail. 
Um, if you guys want to see more videos, we're actually sitting down for the whole day and filming some epic videos for you guys. We're doing a awesome favourites on Susie's channel and a what's in my makeup bag on Alex's channel. So I'll put links to those below. And I'm also going to be doing uh, a whole lot of drugstore videos this month as well. So if you guys want to see my um, drugstore holy grail products, that is coming soon. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Bye. Hey guys and welcome back. So it's monthly favourites time again and today's video is going to be pretty short and snappy because I actually don't have that many favourites this month. If you haven't been following me on Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat, you might not know I've 